how to understand reality we can understand reality using our senses observation experiment this is called science we use uh, revelation wahi and that is called religion we use direct experiences intuition and that is called mysticism and we use uh, our uh, like uh, mind rationality rational approach and that is called philosophy so today i'll be talking about science using our senses experiment observation science is mostly about nature about natural world about physical world what is nature which we can feel which we can touch which we can see by our senses there may be social sciences which is about society and the human interaction and there may be formal sciences which is uh, mathematics and logic natural sciences are mostly about nature the word science is basically uh, from latin scientia which means knowledge so any organized systematic body of information is called science so systematic knowledge is called science now uh, here basically when we talk about science so we talk about matter so there are two kinds of matter one is baryonic matter which is just 5% the atomic uh, matter the matter that which we see which emit light that is only 5% roughly and then dark matter which is 25% and dark energy which is roughly 70% so this 100% is the whole universe now universe is space and time plus its contents what are the uh, uh, the the model that we understand and that model is called lambda cdm model lambda is the einstein universal constant and cdm is cold dark matter this this is the model that we understand uh, by which we understand universe now when we come to the atoms so from the atoms we make stars galaxies clusters super clusters and galactic filaments atoms stars galaxies clusters super clusters galactic filaments there are like uh, 300 sextillion stars and there are 200 billion from 200 billion to 2 trillion galaxies so basically this is the unit is atom with the even the greeks used to say that the unit is atom but they were calling atom like the chemically combined matter uh, which nowadays we call molecule and there are like 118 uh, atoms and when we like the pure collection of atoms that we call element so there are 118 elements 94 of those elements are natural and the rest are synthetic uh, for example we have neonium which was which is the only element the only atom which is uh, uh, synthetically made in japan this is why it is called neonium on the name of japan which is uh, very very unstable it can it is very radioactive and remains stable only for 20 seconds and the latest uh, uh, element that we have that is uh, organisan which is uh, the atomic number is 118 now atom is made up neutron proton and electrons but neutron and protons these are made of fermions and then fermions and bosons and fermions are made of quarks which are up down charm strange top bottom these are then quarks q u a r k s these are the subatomic particles and bosons which are the force carrying particles and which are like gluons wz bosons photon which is the unit of light and uh, heg boson uh then we have uh, uh, leptons where we have electrons neutrino muon and tau t a u tau these are the sub particles uh in this universe we have four fundamental forces electro uh, electromagnetic forces uh then we have gravity strong nuclear forces and weak nuclear forces 
So there is another particle which is uh, like more uh, supposed to be there, uh, graviton, which is for the gravity. And then we have fields which permeates the universe and then there are various forces as I discussed. So this whole uh, description that is universe. Whatever we have in the universe that, that we can describe by atoms. This atom is in a small, in a small uh, unicellular organism in the human body and in a galaxy. All these things are made of atoms. But the, the atoms then we have neutrons, protons, electrons. And then in these we have uh, further subatomic particles which I uh, uh, took their names. Now, when we talk about the galaxy, so galaxy is a gravitationally bound system. And there can be uh, elliptical galaxies, spiral galaxies, and irregular galaxies. For example, our galaxy called Milky Way, it, it is spiral uh, galaxy. So in galaxy, then we have stars, we have stellar remnants, and then we have interstellar uh, gas, we have uh, interstellar dust, and then we have dark matter. These are the components of galaxy. And then there can be uh, black holes at active centers. Like Sagittarius A is the black hole in our uh, galaxy, Milky Way. And there are so many galaxies which can be like the stars which are more than the sand particles on uh, the surface of Earth. How we measure uh, these, uh, the unit of length in astronomy, that is uh, light year. And one light year is equal to 9.5 quadrillion meters or 5.9 trillion miles. One light year. Light year is the unit of length, not time. And here the year is Julian year. But in astrometry, uh, we use uh, parsec, which is 3.6 light years. We come to the uh, solar system. So the solar system is a gravitationally bound system. Sun is at the center. And then we have uh, uh, the, the objects which are orbiting the sun directly. So these are uh, eight planets and then uh, small uh, solar system bodies like asteroids and comets. And then we have indirect orbiting uh, objects. Uh, which can be like uh, uh, different uh, indirectly also, uh, they are orbiting the sun. Planets, uh, as I said, there are eight planets. There can be exoplanets which are outside of our uh, solar system. And uh, we have uh, uh, like the, the uh, planets are orbiting a star or a stellar remnant. And a planet is rounded by its own gravity but it doesn't have uh, it is not it doesn't have that much mass which is enough to cause thermonuclear fusion and it has cleared its uh, like uh, uh, the, uh, the planetary uh, remnants which is clear there is no uh, those uh, planetesimals the small uh, um, planet uh, material planets are terrestrials called terrestrial planets which are made of rocks and uh, these are like uh, our Mars, Earth, Venus, uh, Mercury and then there are giant uh, planets uh, maybe made of gas, hydrogen and helium mainly and these are Jupiter and Saturn and ice uh, giants which are Uranium and Neptune so this ice are made of water and ammonia in the ice uh, form Sun, which is the center of the uh, solar system, system that is uh, a sphere of the hot plasma. And Sun is 99.86% of the solar system. 73% of the Sun is hydrogen and 25% is helium. And then we have photosphere in the uh, Sun, which is the visible uh, surface of Sun. And then we come to our own Earth. Uh, Earth is the densest uh, planet and because of its rotation we have seasons and because of its revolution we have day and night and because of the its uh, uh, gravitation uh, with the moon then we have tides. So these are like a different and then we have uh, astronomical units like for the time we use day 
which is uh, 8,600 uh, 8, seconds one day. And then we have for the mass, we use solar mass, uh, which is uh, uh, for the uh, how to measure the mass in the astronomy that is called the mass unit, the solar mass unit. So basically, uh, this is, uh, you know, how to understand the universe. When we understand the universe from uh, galaxy and then we come to the uh, stars and then to our own earth. So on the earth, then we have life. So the, for the life, we have physiology that, for example, in morphology, anatomy, and then the, the unit of life that is cell. Then we have the like the cell, the, the, the structure of cell. In the cell also we have nucleus and then we have uh, uh, around the sun, uh, around the cell, then we have different bodies. We should understand this, like mitochondria and uh, ribosomes. And then we have uh, DNA and RNA and then chromosomes. So, uh, you know, we should take and trust how to understand the universe around us as well as our own body. And then we have the animal kingdom and then our own environment. In our own environment, the most important thing that is climate, the climate change and the pollution, the contamination, the greenhouse effect and the ozone layer. And then we, uh, when we understand the universe, we understand the human body, the different systems in the human body, uh, the organs, uh, for example, stomach, intestines, uh, our uh, kidneys, you know, how these uh, perform. So we must uh, be, we must have this curiosity that how can we understand the universe, the earth, the human being and our environment. And then we should have a little reasoning, mathematics, logic, you know, basic arithmetic uh, calculations. So for a complete human being, the concept of general science, that is very, very important. For example, uh, how the solar energy can be the alternative source of energy for us. Uh, for example, we have uh, uh, the fossils. So we can also have uh, other sources like uh, biodiesel that by burning plants, we can uh, create energy, uh, which is more environment friendly and uh, which is uh, like uh, in instead of like burning the fossils in petrol or diesel, we can also get uh, ethanol, ethanol that is from the uh, biodegradation, biodegradation, which is the digestion, which is anaerobic digestion, the digestion without oxygen like fermentation. So by fermentation, we can get uh, uh, th that source of energy. In many countries like Brazil and uh, even in Canada and other countries, you can find ethanol, which is not made from uh, fossils like petrol or diesel, but that is made by, by fermentation, by anaerobic digestion, by bacteria of plants. And then from those plants, we get methane and other gases, and which are the sources of energy. So alternative sources of energy, these are very important, but what we have the classic, the, the fossils sources of energy, we should understand the sustainable approach. We should not use this energy that it becomes, you know, the, the, the vicious cycle of so much pollution, which will uh, get problems for us. So today, uh, my request is that we should, this is an introductory lecture on science, that if we want to understand the reality, so we can apply science and by science is one of the way to understand the universe, to understand our own selves, how our body functions, and then food, which is very much important. Food is also important part of the general science, and then different kinds of uh, food and diet, carbohydrates and proteins, and you know these uh, biomolecules, uh, fat, fatty acids, and uh, how, what kind of food, and then the concept of balanced diet, and then we have technology like semiconductors, okay, LED, LED like uh, uh, which is a very, very important uh, technology, how we can save our energy. So uh, different like ceramics, how the pottery, which was previously called pottery, now it is ceramics, which are useful utensils for uh, human beings. So today uh, it was just a glance on the general science uh, paper. 
uh, of CSS and as well as I try to make it attractive for other people who are not going to take part in exams, but still they try to understand uh, the universe, our own bodies, our own environment, the food that we uh, take and we should also have some general concept of logic and reasoning and uh, mathematics. So this was an introductory uh, lecture on everyday science or uh, general science. So please uh, keep uh, asking questions uh, how to further understand uh, the universe which this earth is also a part and our solar system and then our Milky Way and then we go to the clusters and super clusters and this whole uh, understanding and this uh, dark matter and uh, dark energy which is also very much uh, interesting topics. Thank you very much.